final full day in New York uh, for a while. So I'm kind of a little disappointed um, that I'm not staying longer because I feel like the second I get back here, it's just like, this is home, it's always going to be home. And it's just, after three years on the road, like sometimes it's just nice to like breathe and be home. So it's bittersweet that I'm leaving, but I'm making the most of my last day. I'm heading to the Guggenheim, which I'm really embarrassed to admit after living here for 13 years, I've never been there. Um, so we're gonna change that today. Um, there's an exhibit on uh, Picasso during like his Paris period, like when he was living there when he was younger. It apparently is really good. So I'm gonna go check that out. And then I'm gonna run back to the hotel, do a quick change and go on a speakeasy tour with Get Your Guide. Um, so I'm excited about that. It should be a really fun, probably slightly boozy afternoon, um, which ends up being perfect as a pregame because the second that's over, I am running across Midtown to go see the new Britney Spears musical uh, with one of my best friends. I got a press invite for that, so I'm super excited about that. Um, it sounds like it's going to be a really fun show, so we'll check that out. And then I'm possibly going to Brooklyn to like see a friend after that. So it's going to be a very full day. Uh, but first, the music. <laughs>
So I just got done with the Young Picasso in Paris exhibit at the Guggenheim. It was amazing. Um, I think it's running like another month or two. So if you're in the city this summer, check it out. It was very cool. Um, the rest of the exhibits were cool too, like way more modern for sure. Um, so they weren't as like up my alley as the Picassos were, but um, it was still cool to check out. So now I'm just back in Central Park again, um, walking back downtown to go eat something really quickly and do a quick change so I can go to this speakeasy tour thing that I'm doing with Get Your Guide. Um, because if you didn't know, speakeasies tend to have dress codes, so you have to be like way more dressed up than I am, because right now I'm in like jeans and a t-shirt. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. And, um, I could have like walked down fifth, but I mean, honestly, like I'm kind of obsessed with Central Park. It's my favorite place, which is why I've been here so much this weekend. Uh, so I figured it would be more fun to walk downtown in the park versus along Fifth Avenue. So that's what we're doing. We've got nice coffee and we're just having a nice little afternoon walk. Get your guide. And to be honest, like the first two places they took us were not speakeasy. They were actually places that like I used to run over and like have lunch at when I was working in the town. They're kind of more like speakeasy decorated bars. Like it, they're not a speakeasy. Um, the last place we went, uh, we like champagne bar. That is actually like one of the oldest like speakeasy spaces in New York. So that one was legit. Uh, but the other two weren't, honestly. I'm just gonna save you all time and money. If you wanna go to a speakeasy in Midtown, just go get a drink at Flute uh, Champagne Bar. Uh, you can save yourself, like, what was it, like $35 a person to go on this tour, because, like, honestly, like, the girl who was, like, leaving it was amazing, but, like, honestly, as a local, I wasn't impressed. Um, so yeah, now it's 
and I'm just running over to the Marquee Theater to go to the Shakespeare musical with one of my friends, uh, which should be fun. I'm gonna go from there, but first I gotta kind of run through the way to get there, or I'm gonna be late, so here we go. 